Lenski talks about the sociocultural evolutionary approach. And he says that human societies undergo processes of change. And those changes are characterized by dominant patterns. He calls this sociocultural evolution. And he says one of the most important components of sociocultural evolution is a society's level of technology. If you don't have a lot of technology, then you don't have any reason to evolve to a newer or different or better sociocultural place. He defines technology as cultural information about the ways in which the material resources of the environment are used to satisfy human needs and desires. That's a lot of jargon for a very simple idea. Technology, what we have and how we use it. That's really all technology is. So for Lenski, there are more than just the two divisions that Durkheim and Tony's had. Lenski actually has four divisions in his uh, theory of sociocultural evolution. He first talks about pre-industrial societies, and these would be akin to Durkheim's mechanical society and to Tony's Gemeinschaft. These are hunting and gathering societies or horticultural or agrarian societies where pretty much everybody's got the same kind of tasks every day, and those tasks revolve somewhat around basic survival uh, of the group and of the individual. And so here we don't have a lot of differentiation in these types of societies. P people are really at the whim of the elements and there's not a lot of technology. So here's where Lenski would say this is an example of these type of societies staying in a pre-industrial state because they don't develop technology or they haven't developed the technology. Now it is important to note that this is a continuum. What we do see in the world is that Societies do technologically evolve over time. That's happened with virtually every society that I can think of that is still existing in the world today. Uh, there are some that have died off, and, and there's speculation as to what those reasons may be. But as far as existing societies, technology always gets a foothold, and technology always serves to move them out of a pre-industrial state. Do some societies take longer than others to move out of the pre-industrial state? Absolutely. And that depends on their ability to use technology to suit their needs. The second phase for Lenski would be the industrial society. This is where technology's really gotten a good grasp and the people in that society are able to use technology to their advantage. And so here we have mechanization that can be used to produce goods and services and we have inventions and energy sources that people can rely heavily on. And so what ends up happening here is the focus of the society changes from a communal effort for survival to a more individualistic approach because now rather than relying on the other people in your group to help keep you alive, satisfy your needs, you can rely on technology to do that. So you don't have to have those strong ties. This would also be akin to Durkheim's organic solidarity and Tony's Gesellschaft idea. Now Lenski goes a little bit farther. He talks actually about two more types of societies past the industrial, and he talks about the post-industrial and the post-modern society. He says, post-industrial societies are economic systems which are primarily engaged in processing and controlling information. So for Lenski, once your society has industrialized and once industrialization has really taken over and it's become a smooth running machine, you move past a mechanical industrial type of state and you move into a state where you're more engaged in information culling. You gather information, you disseminate information. There are some who would assert that this is where America has been for the past few decades. We are no longer a world power when it comes to the type of mechanical production that used to occur in the early days of the Industrial Revolution. We are no longer a power when it comes to having big factories and plants where we produce things that the rest of the world buys. Instead, we've become consumers of products that less developed nations are making cheaper.
And so now where we might have had a t-shirt factory or a sneaker plant and produced our own goods and services for ourselves to purchase, we instead now purchase those from other countries that are, if you will, behind us as far as the socio-cultural evolution. And so instead, that frees us up. We don't have to depend so much on mechanical invention and technology. And so we become more focused in on processing and controlling information. Primarily the computer. That's how we do it. Uh, I would hazard a guess that nearly every one of my students and the people I know uh, spend at least some time every single day on the computer looking at information. And so that's one of the primary characteristics for Lenski of the post-industrial society. And then he also talks about the post-modern society. This is a technologically sophisticated society preoccupied with consumer goods and media images. And I'm going to assert to you, and probably many sociologists today would assert to you, that in the last 15 to maybe 20 years, this is where America has been. We are a postmodern society. Postmodern societies consume goods and consume information on a mass scale. Theorists who apply the postmodern approach take a global perspective and they talk about the ways that culture crosses national boundaries and how food crosses national boundaries and how goods and services cross national boundaries. Um, online social networks become very, very big in postmodern societies. Social networks such as Facebook and Twitter and MySpace, things like that. Uh, postmodern theorists talk about newly emerging cultural forms and patterns of social interaction. So I think I'm comfortable with saying that we are indeed a postmodern society. The ways that we communicate with each other today uh, are rapidly changing. You know, a year ago, we didn't have Twitter. Five years before that, we didn't have MySpace and Facebook. Fifteen years before that, we didn't have the computer. So in my opinion, uh, technology, what Lenski says is essential to move us forward, to evolve us forward, has been integral to the United States moving through the post-industrial stage into a post-modern stage. We'll talk again soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.